morning. Today's Saturday. I'm just about to leave this in Ray, South Carolina. My, my pilot just called. He's waiting for me at the pilot, which is uh, 30 miles away, 50 kilometers away. And I'm a bit concerned here because I did twice this exit. First, when I was uh, doing the scale one, way one, and then I did way two. And then actually I got fuel. And so the exit over there is very bad. And I almost, what's going on there? I, I actually, I had, I went over the curb. And I was thinking what I can do in order to, to uh, not to damage my tires. And this thing is so shaky because now my Jeep is at a large angle over there. But that's how I spent like probably what three days so let me just go like that thing it just it just goes left and right like this you know so I'm gonna I'm gonna go very slow till at least I'm uh, on a straight line here so yeah my Jeep is not like this because my trail is here my Jeep is there and I don't think I I see my tires are very low like the trailer towards the tires is very low all right so let me stop here so finally I'm on a straight line and what I need to do is I need to raise the front. <sighs> Let me just... Because you see over there there's a, like an incline. And so I left it at minimum over here. number five yeah I want the front like this so this way there's more there's more weight on the back because again over there there's a, such a sharp incline and what I also want to do is I want to drop my pusher I'm telling you guys it's real and so I did reconnaissance yesterday just walked over there and looked at where I can go over the curb with my front tires. Because if I don't go over the curb, I'm gonna hit the left the left curb again. But over here it's very sharp and there's a big drop on the other side, you know, whereas uh, towards the corner. The, the ground goes up pretty much level with the curb, you know? And th that's why I drop my pusher. Because when the pusher is down, it takes the pressure from the front axle, 
right? And so then the front axle doesn't have, let's say, uh, 18, 18,500 pounds, but it'll have, let's say, 14,000 14, pounds. And so this is the tricky part. And I just wanted to show you guys what sometimes you have to deal with when you are at a small truck store. You see, so I'm keeping my, I'm keeping my, um, tire like this, and I forgot where they, no, I cannot go here. Man, it's so sharp in there. over here over here I can go I can go just a little bit on the grass here you I'm always I hate these people that I mean why do you need this why do you need this curb you sure what's happening there I don't know if you guys can see this but you see this you see how it's all broken because that's what happens and last time my tires went right in here and I was pretty sure I would damage this you like this so this thing went in here and that thing was going like this it's crazy you know? So now I can uh, think we should look at this. so long why are you parking fucking across right No, 
That's too old. Too low. Damn, more like it. Oh, and this guy left. Cool. So the last obstacle is getting out of here because it's also very sharp i have to go this way but i walked around here so that's what you do you know when you when you are uh, trying to make sure that you fit this I saw the grass you know that I can go on the grass like this because there's no curb here right and then we can go like this and that gives me lots of room Sometimes I forget how long this thing is. Man, this is amazing. That's why I like to keep that uh, the shade of that window. You know, it's very helpful when you can see that side. All right, actually, yeah, last obstacle is this. Look how narrow this is. And of course, you check to see that no crazy people try to pass you over there. turn. I nailed it. <laughs> 